Welcome, dear listeners, to another riveting episode of our scientific podcast. I'm your host, and today we're about to embark on an extraordinary journey that traverses the realms of history, archaeology, and the captivating world of giants. In this episode, we're going to delve into intriguing legends, archaeological discoveries, and real-life stories that challenge our understanding of human height. We'll explore the mysteries of the ancient race of giants in Nevada, the enigmatic red-haired Siteka tribe, and the tallest people in recorded history. We'll traverse the landscapes of time and space, from the rugged terrains of Nevada to the mythical palace of Odysseus, and even into the lives of the tallest living man and woman. Our journey will not just be about the extraordinary, but also about the human spirit that navigates through the extraordinary. We'll learn about the resilience and strength of individuals who live in a world that's not designed for their height. We'll discover how they've turned their unique stature into platforms for promoting understanding and acceptance. So, prepare yourself for an adventure that's larger than life. Get ready to question what you know, to explore the boundaries of possibility, and to immerse yourself in the fascinating world of giants. This is not just a podcast episode, it's a journey into the extraordinary. So, sit back, relax, and let's begin this incredible exploration together. Welcome to our podcast. Now, let's turn the pages of time and journey back to a period steeped in mystery and legend. Picture this, the vast, rugged landscapes of Nevada, where the echoes of an ancient race still resonate. Yes, we're talking about the legendary giants of Nevada, a tale that has intrigued historians and archaeologists alike. This isn't just any legend. This is a story that challenges our understanding of human history, a narrative that has been passed down through generations, whispered around campfires under the starlit Nevada sky. These were not just giants in the metaphorical sense, but beings of enormous stature, towering over the average human, their presence dominating the landscapes they inhabited. The heart of this legend lies in the Lovelock Cave, a place that has become a symbol of these ancient giants. This cave, nestled by the Humboldt Sink in western Nevada, is more than just a geological formation. It's a silent witness to a time long past, a time when these giants, known as the Ka tribe, are said to have walked the earth. The legend tells us that these red-haired giants were so colossal that they had to be buried within the cave itself. Imagine that for a moment. Picture the enormity of these beings, their towering figures casting long shadows over the Nevada landscape. The very thought sends shivers down the spine, doesn't it? The Saitaka tribe, a name that resonates with intrigue and mystery, forms a crucial part of the legend of Nevada's giants. This tribe, according to the lore, were not ordinary humans, but red-haired giants who once inhabited the Lovelock Cave. The Saitaka, whose existence is etched in the annals of folklore, were said to be so colossal that the cave itself became their final resting place. The sheer size of these beings is hard to comprehend. Imagine being so towering that they had to be interred within the vast expanse of a cave. It's a thought that challenges our understanding of human dimensions. But the Sitaka were not just known for their size. They were also distinguished by their red hair, a characteristic that set them apart. This detail, while seemingly minor, adds a layer of depth to the legend. It paints a vivid picture of these giants, their fiery red hair a striking contrast against the backdrop of the Nevada landscape. The discovery of the Lovelock Cave, the alleged home of the Siteka tribe, is a tale that intertwines history, archaeology, and a dash of serendipity. The cave, located by the Humboldt Sink in western Nevada, was once part of an enormous lake. As the lake dried up, it left behind a number of smaller ones, including the Humboldt Sink, and the cave that would soon become a focal point of historical interest. The story of the cave's discovery begins with a mining engineer named John T. Reed. In 1886, Reed found himself engaged in conversation with the locals, who shared tales of a cave that held secrets of an ancient race of giants. Intrigued by these stories, Reed decided to investigate. Upon seeing the cave, he knew he had stumbled upon something significant. However, the cave soon attracted attention for a different reason. Deposits of a valuable fertilizer known as guano were discovered within its depths. This led to a mining company beginning excavation in 1911, extracting more than 250 tons of the resource. Unfortunately, 
This process led to the neglect and loss of some of the human remains and artifacts within the cave. The loss triggered an official excavation in 1912 and again in 1924. As the top layer of guano was mined, strange objects began to surface. These artifacts, along with the human remains, provided the earliest evidence of human habitation in the area dating back about 4,000 years. It serves as a silent testament to the Lovelock culture that lasted for some 3,000 years, leaving behind over 10,000 stunning artifacts. The discovery of the cave has opened a window into the past, offering us a glimpse into the lives of those who might have once walked among giants. The excavation of the Lovelock Cave began in earnest in 1912, following the mining operations that had inadvertently unearthed intriguing artifacts and human remains. The cave, once a source of valuable guano, was now recognized for its historical significance, prompting a more careful exploration of its depths. The excavation process was akin to peeling back the layers of time. As the top layer of guano was removed, a treasure trove of artifacts began to surface. Each object, each remnant, was a piece of a historical puzzle, offering insights into the lives of the cave's ancient inhabitants. The cave was like a series of time capsules, with each pit representing a different period in history. The age of each pit was determined by its depth, revealing that the cave had been used for storage by many different groups over a long period. The items they left behind offer a fascinating glimpse into their cultures, like a giant ancient storage unit full of hidden treasures. Among the discoveries were bones much larger than those of an average human, lending credence to the legends of the Sitaka tribe. But the cave held more than just skeletal remains. Mummified bodies were found, preserved using methods similar to those employed by the ancient Egyptians. These bodies, some with traces of red hair, added another layer of mystery to the cave's already rich history. Now let's talk more about a very interesting find, mummified bodies. We found them in the depths of the Lovelock Cave at a captivating chapter to the story of the Sitaka tribe. These remains, preserved through time, offer a tangible link to the past, providing us with clues about the people who once inhabited the cave. The mummification process used on these bodies bears a striking resemblance to the methods employed by the ancient Egyptians. This connection, spanning continents and cultures, is a testament to the shared human experiences and knowledge that transcend geographical boundaries. But what sets these mummified bodies apart is a peculiar characteristic, traces of red hair. This detail aligns with the legend of the Siteka tribe, the red-haired giants of Nevada. However, the presence of red hair has sparked debate among scientists. Some believe that the reddish hue is a result of the interaction with the environment in which the bodies were preserved. In addition to the mummified bodies, the cave also yielded bodies that shared similarities with remains discovered as far south as Lake Titicaca. This connection, spanning thousands of miles, adds another layer of intrigue to the story. However, not everyone is convinced by the legend of the red-haired giants. Some experts argue that the bones found in the Lovelock Cave are simply the remains of prehistoric animals, like mammoths or sloths. But others insist that there's something more to the story. The discoveries within the Lovelock Cave have sparked a fascinating debate that continues to engage historians, archaeologists, and enthusiasts alike. At the heart of this debate is a question that challenges our understanding of human history. Were the bones found in the cave the remains of an ancient race of giants, or are they simply the remnants of prehistoric animals? On one side of the debate are those who believe in the legend of the C. Teka tribe, the red-haired giants of Nevada. They point to the size of the bones, the mummified bodies, and the artifacts as evidence of the existence of these giants. The presence of red hair on some of the mummified bodies, they argue, aligns with the descriptions of the Saitaka tribe in the legends. On the other side are the skeptics, who argue that the bones could belong to prehistoric animals, such as mammoths or sloths. They suggest that the size of the bones and the presence of red hair could be explained by environmental factors or the process of fossilization. The debate is further fueled by the discovery of other relics in the cave, such as finely crafted baskets and exquisite duck decoys made from tule fibers. These artifacts, while not directly related to the giants, add to the rich tapestry of human history associated with the cave. Also, the Lovelock Cave, 
beyond its association with the legend of the Si Te Ka tribe, is a treasure trove of relics that offer a fascinating glimpse into the past. These artifacts, each with its own story to tell, provide insights into the lives of the people who once inhabited the cave. Among the relics discovered in the cave are finely crafted baskets. These baskets, woven with skill and precision, are a testament to the craftsmanship of the cave's ancient inhabitants. They offer clues about the daily lives of these people, their skills, and their culture. In addition to the baskets, exquisite duck decoys made from tule fibers were also found in the cave. These decoys, crafted with an eye for detail, suggest that the inhabitants of the cave may have engaged in hunting or bird catching. They also highlight the artistic abilities of these people, their understanding of the natural world, and their ability to replicate it. Each relic, from the simplest basket to the most intricate decoy, is a piece of a historical puzzle. They provide us with tangible links to the past, allowing us to piece together the story of the cave's ancient inhabitants. These artifacts, along with the bones and mummified bodies, paint a vivid picture of a time long past. Now, let's move on to another place. We move to the Palace of Odysseus, a name that evokes images of ancient Greek mythology and epic adventures, forms an intriguing part of our journey into the world of giants. While seemingly unrelated to the legend of the Siteka tribe, this discovery offers another perspective on the concept of giants, this time through the lens of mythology and archaeology. Odysseus, the legendary Greek king of Ithaca, is a central figure in Homer's epic, The Odyssey. Known for his cunning and resourcefulness, Odysseus is often depicted as a larger-than-life figure, a giant in his own right. His palace, therefore, is a symbol of his grandeur and stature. The discovery of what is believed to be the palace of Odysseus on the island of Ithaca is a significant archaeological find. This site, with its ancient ruins and artifacts, provides a tangible link to the world of Greek mythology. It offers a glimpse into the life of Odysseus, the legendary hero, adding a layer of reality to the myth. While the palace of Odysseus may not house the remains of actual giants, it serves as a reminder of the giants of mythology, the heroes and gods who loomed large in the tales of ancient Greece. It invites us to explore the concept of giants from a different perspective, one that is rooted in myth and legend. Let's make a small digression. The world of giants is a realm that transcends time and geography, a concept that has fascinated humanity across cultures and epochs. From the red-haired giants of the Siteka tribe to the larger-than-life figures of Greek mythology, giants have always held a special place in our collective consciousness. But the world of giants is not confined to legends and myths. It extends into the realm of reality, where extraordinary individuals challenge our understanding of human height. These real-life giants, with their towering stature, offer a fascinating glimpse into the extremes of human growth. One such individual is Robert Pershing Wadlow, the tallest person in recorded history. Standing at a staggering height of 8 feet 11 inches, Wadlow was a giant in the truest sense. His extraordinary height was the result of a condition known as hyperplasia of his pituitary gland, which resulted in an abnormally high level of human growth hormone. But the world of giants is not just about height. It's about the challenges, the triumphs, and the human experiences that come with living in a world that's not designed for people of such stature. It's about the resilience and strength of these individuals, their ability to navigate a world that often views them with awe and curiosity. Let's talk about specific people and their stories. Robert Pershing Wadlow, also known as the Alton Giant, was a figure who truly lived up to the title of a giant. Born in Alton, Illinois in 1918, Wadlow's extraordinary height was evident from an early age. By the time he was eight years old, he was already taller than his father. Wadlow's growth was due to a condition known as hyperplasia of his pituitary gland, which resulted in an abnormally high level of human growth hormone. Despite his towering stature, Wadlow was known for his gentle demeanor and humility. He was a beloved figure in his hometown of Alton, where he was known for his kindness and his willingness to participate in community events. Wadlow's life was not without challenges. His extraordinary height brought with it a host of health issues, including a lack of sensation in his feet and difficulty with mobility. 
Despite these challenges, Wadlow lived his life with grace and dignity, refusing to let his height define him. In addition to his life in Alton, Wadlow also toured with the Ringling Brothers Circus, where he was billed as the tallest man in the world. Despite the spectacle of the circus, Wadlow was always keen to emphasize his normality, often stating, I'm just like everyone else, only taller. Wadlow's life, though cut short at the age of 22, left a lasting impact. The Alton Giant, with his gentle nature and towering stature, continues to be a source of fascination and inspiration, a true giant in every sense of the word. But let us tell you about the tallest man history has known. The title of the tallest living man currently belongs to Sultan Kozin from Turkey. Born in 1982, Kozin stands at an incredible height of 8 feet 2.8 inches. His extraordinary growth, like Wadlow's, is due to a condition known as pituitary gigantism, which results in an overproduction of growth hormone. Kozin's height has brought with it a unique set of challenges and opportunities. Everyday tasks, such as getting into a car or walking through a door, can be difficult. However, his height has also opened doors to unique experiences. In 2009, his life changed when he was declared the tallest living man by the Guinness World Records. This recognition brought him global attention and made him a cultural ambassador of sorts. Despite the challenges that come with his height, Kosin maintains a positive outlook on life. He has used his stature to spread a message of acceptance and understanding, reminding us that it's our differences that make us unique. But both of the past two were men. What about the tallest woman? The title of the tallest living woman is held by Rumeysa Gelgi from Turkey. Born in 1997, Gelgi stands at an impressive height of 7 feet 0.7 inches. Her extraordinary height is due to a condition known as Weaver syndrome, a rare genetic disorder that results in rapid growth. Despite the challenges that come with her height, Gelgi has embraced her stature with grace and resilience. She has used her unique perspective to advocate for acceptance and understanding, reminding us that our differences are what make us unique. In addition to her advocacy work, Gelgi has also pursued a career in technology. She works as a front-end developer, a role that allows her to combine her analytical skills with her creative talents. Her work in this field is a testament to her determination and resilience, proving that height is no barrier to achieving one's goals. As we draw this journey to a close, we reflect on the fascinating world of giants we've explored. From the legends of the Siteka tribe and the archaeological wonders of the Lovelock Cave, to the real-life giants like Robert Wadlow, Sultan Kosin, and Rumesa Gelgi, we've delved into a realm that challenges our understanding of human height. Each story, each discovery, has offered a unique perspective on the human experience. They've invited us to question, to explore, and to keep an open mind as we seek to understand our past and our present. They've reminded us of the diversity of human experiences and the extraordinary resilience of the human spirit. Whether they are the giants of legend or the giants of reality, these towering figures continue to captivate our imagination. They invite us to explore the boundaries of possibility and to celebrate the diversity of human experiences. As we look forward to our next episode, we carry with us the stories and the lessons we've learned from the world of giants. We look forward to continuing this journey of discovery, exploring new realms, and uncovering more fascinating aspects of our world. Until then, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep an open mind. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.